Yes. We're off! Enjoy yourselves as best you can. I'll see you there. Good luck. You'll be fine, don't worry. Good luck, chaps. Good luck. Yeah, all the best. You're in safe hands there, Paul. Just see the way Glenda does her own makeup. She's only here for the awards anyway. Good luck. Now, don't be frightened. Leave the fear to me. OK, just enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. Well, enjoy the jewels if you can't enjoy the moment. Oh, are you in it or what? <laughs> be good. You'll be fantastic. Yes, I'm with you. Good luck, then. Right, this is the night of night for stars in their eyes. The audience is ready, I'm ready, and you're coming with me. Of course, the build-up has been 12 weeks, and ultimately, the show is all about that relatively short walk that the winner has to make from here in a couple of hours after you've voted. They have to go around here. Look, I better be quick on the start of the show without me. Pass the crew, good evening crew. Nice to see you. Up the guillotine steps up here to the famous doors to the title series winner. But of course, it's my turn first. Welcome to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 1996 Grand Final of Stars in Their Eyes. Now, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. to stars in their eyes the live grand final yes it's the final yes it's live and e it's grand in fact this is the season for live music contests last week eurovision this week stars in their eyes and i know what i'd rather be watching you see eurovision's all very well but you don't know anyone do you you can't get involved what we want is something we're familiar with faces we recognize songs that we know and that's exactly what we're going to get tonight and we want you to be involved not just by taking part in the telephone vote we want you to clap along sing the words and wave your cigarette lighters in the air <laughs> this is the show by the people for the people it's also borne witness to the whole range of human emotions and has at times been awash with tears of joy and tonight no doubt will be the most emotional night of all but don't worry we have a highly trained team from the St John's Mop and Bucket Brigade standing by, <laughs> ready to cope with any eventuality. And during the next hour and a half, our 12 Heat winners will come back through those famous doors to astound us all once again with their vocal talents. As I said, we want you at home to be involved, and the best way to do that is by taking part in that great nationwide phone vote. You'll decide the Stars in Their Eyes 1996 series winner, just as you did last year. We'll also be welcoming back last year's winner, Bobby Darren. Now, a reminder about tonight's big vote. The lines won't open until all 12 finalists have sung, and then you'll have a whole hour in which to ring in and make your choice. As you can see, tonight's show has something for everyone. We have soul, blues, rock, disco, music from the 50s and 60s, and of course the 70s, 80s and 90s are well represented, and that's just the studio audience. <laughs> and so to finalist number one, who was the winner of show one way back in March. Now a performing arts student from Her Hertfordshire, she stunned us all with her show-stopping performance as Maria McKee. She is, of course, 20-year-old Lynn Norton. We first caught up with Lynn while she was working behind the counter of her local supermarket. And it was there she confessed that a love affair with all things dairy had led her colleagues to call her the cheese monster. And when she's not nibbling a bit of cheddar, she's dreaming of a career in drama and dance. A dream that's one step closer now that she's at college studying for a BA in acting. And there's Lynn, about to walk through those famous doors and come another step closer to that dream. Well, she's the first one to walk back through those famous doors tonight, so give her an especially warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Singing Live once again, Lynn Norton is Maria McKee. Hey, baby, come over here. I'm 
You see, you did. You showed us heaven with your voice then. How are you feeling? All right. Not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. How's the performing arts course going? It's good. Is it? What are you learning? Technical things. Technical things. Sound Is that because right. you're not allowed to perform, are you? No. No, quite right, because you might start winning things, mightn't you? That would be ghastly, wouldn't you? It's great to be first out, isn't it? No. No, no. No, but you've done it now, but don't relax too much because you might be back later singing again. I doubt it. You're great. <laughs> If you want to vote for Mar Maria McKee at the end of the show, the number to call is 0891 980001. But don't ring just yet. Remember, the lines won't be open until after all 12 finalists have sung. Ladies and gentlemen, Lynn Norton as Maria McKee. That was something to give you goosebumps, and that's not all. It set a standard which will be matched, I'm sure, by finalist number two and winner of show two. He was what you might call a meaty matey from Watford, who became the toe tapping, finger snapping Bobby V. But he started out as Robert Critchell. Father of three, Robert Critchell is a meat porter by day, but a singer at heart. And although he loves his work, there's one job he'd love even more. Mine. I'm not sure he'd want it tonight, though. It was a short walk through the famous doors for Robert, but a stroll down memory lane for me. A 60s heartthrob Bobby V, he sang The Night Has a Thousand Eyes, the first record I ever bought way back in 1963. And there he is before the transformation team got to work. It was a great transformation and a cracking number. Tonight, singing live once again, Robert Critchell is Bobby V. <laughs> If you put me down for another I'll 
a thousand miles. You say that you're at home when you phone me, and how much you really care. Though you keep telling me that you're lonely, I'll know if someone is there. A cousin night has a thousand eyes and a thousand eyes. a thousand eyes One of these days you're gonna be sorry Cause your game I'm gonna play And you'll find out without really trying Each time that my kiss is straight Cause a night has a thousand eyes And a thousand eyes a thousand eyes so remember when you tell those little white lies that the night has a thousand That transformation really is something, isn't it? <laughs> it suits you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, now, you said all week that you've got no nerves. Was that true? Yeah, right, right. I thought so. You had a letter from the real Bobby B, didn't you? What I did he say? I certainly did, yes. He was very impressed. Someone actually sent him a tape of the show. Yeah? He was so god gobsmacked. He played it for one of his sons and... They and his son thought, thought it, it was... was him, yeah. yeah, that's as good as that. Yeah. If you want to vote for Bobby V, the number to call is 0891 980002. And I'll remind you of that number again at the end of the show when I open the lines. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Critchell as Bobby V. <laughs> Two down, ten to go, and we're cooking with gas. We're into the groove, we're on a roll, or as Jim Carrey would say, we're smoking. So let's... <laughs> Keep the engine purring and move on to finalist number three, and a complete contrast to Bobby V. His nostalgic recreation of the legendary Mario Lanza brought a lump to our throats. He was Martin Dominique, a DIY enthusiast from Hampshire. When he's not knocking down walls, Martin Dominique is bringing the house down as a singer. As an amateur, he exercised his vocal cords as a schoolboy soprano, later moving on to be the front man with a heavy rock band. Now his neighbours are relieved to hear that he's left his rock and roll youth behind and enjoys a more sophisticated style of song. He's only been singing seriously for the last four years, but has dreams of becoming the fourth tenor. But before he gets to sing with Pavarotti and his pals, he has to step through those magic doors once more. But who needs Pavarotti, Carreras and Domingo? Tonight, singing live once again, the fourth tenor, Martin Dominique, is Mario Lanza! Thank you. 
Fabulous. Fantastic. Thank There's one much. thing about your singing. It's not only the accuracy of your impression, it's the fact that it comes from the heart. You yes. really feel it, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's the only way to sing for me. Yeah. So, as you can see. <laughs> I know. You were well in, weren't you? We were right behind you as well. I can't believe it's also only four years that you've been singing seriously as well. Yeah, four years. I'm telling you, after tonight, your ambition to sing in the Albert Hall as the fourth tenor oh. <laughs> will soon be realised. Yes. Thank Good you very much. To vote for Mario Lanza, the number to call is 0891 980003. 03 for finalist number three. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Dominique as Mario Lanza. <laughs> well, we've seen our first three finalists, and there they are on the board, all lit up there. And as you can see, they're all drawn from completely different parts of the musical spectrum. That music faithfully recreated by our splendid orchestra, led by the splendidly coiffured Ray Monk. <laughs> <laughs> right, there are nine finalists still to come, as richly varied as the three we've just seen, but we've got to take a break. I know you don't want to, but it'll give us all a chance to calm down. So let's meet back here in, uh, ooh, a couple of minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to Stars in Their Eyes, the live grand final. And in spite of what I said, we haven't calmed down at all. Oh, neither have you. I've just heard some great news, by the way. Uh, apparently, over 3,000 people have already called in with their votes. But if you want to throw your money away, please feel free. The lines won't open until the end of the show. Of course, there's been a lot of excitement here during the break as well. You see, our stage crew have only had a couple of minutes to lift a stonking great grand piano onto the stage. Of course, I'd have uh, given them a hand myself, but... Yeah, no, you've got to be very careful when you're wearing a truss, you know. <laughs> anyway, now we've got the grand piano, we can get to finalist number four, Gregory Lawrence from Peterborough, who won us all over with his charismatic performance as Fats Domino, a big man with a big personality. Winning show four was a goal he'd only ever dreamed of. Greg loves the time he spends as an amateur football coach, and having him around during show four was a real ball. But you may be more likely to remember him not for the goals he scored, but for the buckets of tears he shed when he found out he'd won. And he also managed to shed a few pounds in preparation for his appearance as Fats Domino, slimming down by two stone to tip the scales at a trim 25 stone. There he is, about to become the godfather of rhythm and blues. 
He's bouncing right back through those doors. Tonight, singing live once again, Gregory Lawrence is Fats Domino! Found my thrill. Thank you. On Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. When I found you, the moon stood still. Only tested on the voice, you know. <laughs> hey, now, tell it, what about this, all this weeping? Did your army mates give you some stick oh, after no, that? Yeah, oh, big time. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we have your children to thank for bringing you here in the first place, and they've given you a career, really, haven't they? Absolutely wonderful, man. Has, has work been good oh, for you since then? Fantastic. Good man. Thank you. And the number to call if you want to vote for Fats Domino is 0891980004. You know the drill, but don't ring until after all 12 have sung. Ladies and gentlemen, Gregory Lawrence as Fats Domino. <laughs> They had a couple of minutes to get it on, and now they've got 30 seconds to get that piano off again. It's turning into you bet this. <laughs> Speaking of which, there are a few bets being laid backstage on tonight's result, and I mean big money. Tens, twenties, I've seen, oh, 50 pence pieces changing hands here. <laughs> anyway, from Fat Domino, a big name of the 50s to a big name of the 90s, Celine Dion, portrayed by a Scottish lass. Finalist number five and mother of two, Kim Redpath. <laughs> Edinburgh bank officer Kim Redpath and her kids confess to being true fans of stars in their eyes, even going so far as to tape the show while they watch it so they can watch it all over again later. Now there's dedication, and it was dedication that got Kim onto the show as Celine Dion. Hundreds of Celines had applied. Kim was the number one choice, not only with us, but also with the studio audience when she won show five. And there she is about to disappear through those famous doors. They're banking on her north of the border. Tonight, singing live once again, Kim Redpath is Celine Dion! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
I hope you don't mind me saying something this and I think this is what this show is all about. Yes. How do you one minute be working in a bank, mother of two, and suddenly come out in front of 16 million people with mm. a voice like that, like mm. you've been doing it all your life? But now you can't know. talk. <laughs> but you only have to sing. What a good thing you don't have well, to talk. Oh, listen, and I know you and the children, Donna, Donna and Ben, yes. are very big fans of the show. Tell us yes. what happened when you were watching your own heat at home. Well, um, obviously we, it was recorded and uh, it was two weeks before the heat came on and uh, I hadn't told the children at you, all. You didn't no, tell them that you I won? I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want the children to know. I wanted it to be a complete surprise and it was. <laughs> and how did they react, I um, Jumping up and down a lot and... Uh, they screened the place ah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was good. That was a great feeling, that. Anyway, you great. won't know the result, Donna and Ben, this time because it hasn't happened yet, <laughs> OK? So if you want to vote for Celine Dion or your mother, the number to remember <laughs> is 0891 980005. Ladies and gentlemen, Kim Redpath as Celine Dion. <laughs> oh, no. And from the contemporary sound of Celine Dion to the older but no less enduring sound of Dinah Washington, a speciality which was served up by finalist number six, Amanda White, when she won show six. But then, being a chef at a top London restaurant, she's used to preparing specialities. Amanda's biggest fear about appearing on Stars was not to do with singing, it was talking to me. Luckily, she overcame those nerves with a show-stopping performance. Dinah Washington dealt with her stage fright more directly, apparently downing three bottles of champers before taking to the stage. I'm surprised she could even find the stage. And like the song, Amanda's mad about the boy too, getting hitched just before on the show, and there she is before stepping through those doors. 
She's serving up the sizzling sounds of the Chicago Blues tonight, singing live once again. Amanda White is Dinah Washington. <laughs> Isn't it great to be singing live? <laughs> <laughs> you were terrific. You were terrific. Oh. And Owen, you're mad about marriage, you see, aren't you? <laughs> this new marriage of yours. You were worried about your husband getting here tonight, and he's here. I he was, is here. Yeah. You got here. You're in seventh heaven, aren't you? So I suppose Stars in the Rise comes a pretty poor second after all that, does it? Not at all. Not Fantastic. At all. Had a brilliant time. Oh. Fantastic. You've been lovely with us as well. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you. And if you want to vote for Dinah Washington, the number is 0891 980006. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda White as Dinah Washington. <laughs> That was finalist number six, which means we're halfway through the show. Six down and six to go, which is a bit like being halfway through a glass of wine. But is it half empty or is it half full? If it's half empty, go and get a refill, and if it's half full, stay where you are and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to the live grand final of Stars in Their Eyes. Six memorable performances so far and six more excitedly anticipated. Remember, you'll have the chance to vote at the end of the show and the number to call is 0891-9800 and then add the number of the finalists you want to vote for, 0102-0304, etc. The six lit up have already sung and you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out. It's time to hear finalist number seven. 
seven, seven. <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously you don't have to be a rocket scientist to present this programme either, but it's another story. The winner of show seven was Paul McCoy, who performed brilliantly as Gilbert O'Sullivan. And you know what that means? We've had to get that piano back. And there's been a lot of mumbling and sucking of teeth going on around here, I can tell you. Anyway, let's have a quick glimpse of Paul at work. Lancashire's Paul McCoy spends his days as a theatrical agent, booking bands and singers. But tonight, he's the one in the spotlight. So, if you're looking for someone to do a fab Gilbert O'Sullivan impression, he knows just the man. There was no doubt about Paul's star quality when he stepped through the doors on show seven. And of all the good luck messages he's received, the most treasured comes from Gilbert himself, who naturally will be tuning in tonight. And there's Paul about to get the 70s treatment all over again. His whole life is a world of entertainment, and tonight, singing live once again, Paul McCoy is Gilbert O'Sullivan! <laughs> Supposed to be there at night. I don't think the registrar will be very pleased. But we show up an hour late, like two rows of bees. Both now facing for the first time, presently and past. Something that begins with them and ends in a last. For the not complete disaster, even from the start. What can it be? It's matrimony I know how you dreamt If I've been walked down the aisle But think of the money we're saving You'll see it's worthwhile It won't please our moms and dads But they don't even know Besides, if they did what's a bet They wouldn't even go You and me are all that matters This week on the rest Trust you soon to be all that He knows what is best but Very shortly now There's gonna be an answer from you And one from me That's matrimony Oh, I'm truly grateful For the little things in life And have made me so glad Every other hour that I spend With you is not the least bit sad Quite the opposite of fact And if you don't believe me Here's the proof Ask me if I can I say I, I do You and me are all that matters This week or the rest Trust you soon to be all that He knows what is best A very short thing now There's gonna be an answer from you And one from me That's matrimony That's matrimony that's matrimony. Well done, Paul. Thanks. You get my vote just for wearing flares. Really. <laughs> How does the hair go down in Skelmersdale? <laughs> like a lead balloon. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny, you know. I mean, Thanks. I know that the uh, real Gil <laughs> real Gilbert O'Sullivan was watching uh, your, your heat. That's what, right, yeah. Uh, what was his reaction when he saw it? Well, he actually sent me a bottle of champagne. Did he? Mm -hmm. Wishing me all the best and... Yeah? He wrote on a little card and said, like, when I go on tour, he'll be my support, Axel. Splendid! Thanks, Gilbert. Thank you, Gilbert. And if you want to vote for Gilbert O'Sullivan, the number to ring is 0891980007. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul McCoy as Gilbert O'Sullivan. that Gilbert O'Sullivan was one of the groundbreaking new talents of the 70s, and the same could be said of Marty Pello in the 90s. He was portrayed by finalist number eight in Show 8, 
I'm talking, of course, of Paul Doody, a gas fitter from Kent. Paul Doody's dream of appearing on Stars in Their Eyes stopped being a pipe dream when his girlfriend Amanda finally applied for him. Till then, his workmates were his only audience, and although Paul admits he prefers singing to talking, he was certainly never lost for words when describing his daughter Emily Jane, the most beautifulest thing in the world. Daddy's girl will certainly be smiling tonight as Paul steps up to the mic. But before that, he has to go through the magic doors once more. He's now got lots of work in the pipeline, and tonight, singing live once again, Paul Doody is Marty Pello! <laughs> Fantastic performance. Thank you. Are you pleased with it? Yeah. You should be. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something. You get the vote from the makeup girls. Yeah. Because of your change of image. Well, it's the, going from the grey to the black, I think that's, the, that's what it is. It's not grey, you're going from blonde to black. <laughs> and the sorry, eyes, sorry. and the change of eyes well, as well. Contact lenses, so. You see, this is the attention to detail you get on this programme, it's marvellous. Do you, did your mates give you any stick when you've been on the um, programme? Not from me singing, it was just my turn. They, uh, they felt it was a bit funny. So. Oh, that's all right, <laughs> doing all that business. Oh, and what about your boss? No, we have to do a thank you. Yeah, I've got to say thank you uh, to my boss, Alan Flory, for the time he's given me off. Yeah, thanks, Alan. And if you want to vote for Marty Pello, then dial 0891 980008 at the end of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Doody as Marty Pello. <laughs> Well done, Marty Pello and Somewhere Somehow. And right here, right now, is finalist number nine, a talented young woman by the name of Dawn Joseph, who won show nine as Heather Small of M People. Yeah. 
20-year-old Dawn Joseph is a first for stars in her eyes, our first star guest from the Channel Islands. She discovered her Heather Small abilities at her 19th birthday party, when her dad's band invited her to move on up to the stage and sing an M People number. Since then, she's been earning a bit of extra cash at a theme restaurant, where she gets to serve up a few main courses and a side order of singing impressions. And there she is, about to get the big hair to go with the big voice. For the young and the young at heart, tonight, singing live, once again, Dawn Joseph is Heather Small! Sensational. You know you. that. <laughs> Just a word of warning. Don't lean back with your Carmen rollers in, you get whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> you see, one of the other things I love about this is not just the transformation, uh, the physical transformation. You change your personality when you come on. Yeah, I think the singing brings it out of me, definitely. <laughs> you really do, yeah. I mean, you f do you feel different? I just feel like Heather Small, yeah. <laughs> I do, yeah. We'll check it out with her later, I suppose. And working with the dancers, good? Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. I've got to say thank you to Those them. Chris Power Boys, they're fantastic, aren't they? Yep. And if you'd like to vote for Heather Small, the number to ring is 0891 98 0009. Ladies and gentlemen, Dawn Joseph as Heather Small. <laughs> Time for another recap. We've seen Maria McKee, Bobby V, Mario Lanza, Fats Domino, Celine Dion, Diana Washington, Gilbert O'Sullivan, Marty Pello, and Heather Small, which means there are just three finalists left before the voting begins. And we'll be hearing them straight after this short break. I'll see you in a couple of minutes.
Welcome back to Stars in Their Eyes, the final. Nine down and three to go, and then it'll be time for the great phone-in vote. Interactive television on a grand scale. Now, do you remember when I said that you didn't have to be a rocket scientist to know what's coming next? Well, if I could just tell you that 18,000 people so far haven't followed the plot of this. Now, <laughs> what you do is you vote at the end of the show. So. If I could just say to those 18,000 people, you'll just have to vote again and give us those 10 Ps one more time. So, let's get on and meet finalist number 10. He was a winner just three weeks ago, but it was his fiancée, Kirsten, who first persuaded him to audition as Lou Graham of Foreigner. Although, in reality, he's John McQuaker, a stock controller from Yorkshire. 21-year-old John McQuaker from North Allerton works as a stock control assistant for a specialist paint company. But when he's not counting up the magnolia, he's dreaming of rock and roll stardom. And despite admitting to being one of the clumsiest people around, his success in show 10 was no accident. He certainly managed to get through the doors and down the steps without tripping up. Let's hope he does the same in September when he walks down the aisle with girlfriend Kirsten. And there he is at those famous doors. And here he is with one of the great rock ballads of the 80s. Tonight, singing live once again, John McQuaker is Lou Graham! <laughs> That's what I love about doing this show. You see, you get to hear all, all your, all your favourites and everything. Have you, are you all right? Just about. <laughs> Just about. To, to, but it's, you're the sublime to the ridiculous you are, really, well, because, know. you know, you spend your life counting paint cans for a company that supplies Granada anyway, and then the next minute you find yourself on a Granada stage being a rock singer 
with a full gospel choir and the orchestra. I mean, what's going on here? No idea, but it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you love it. I'll tell you something, John has been beaming all week. You've just been, you've been a joy to be with this week, I'll tell you that. Yeah. If you want to vote for Lou Graham, then the number to ring is 08919800010. But don't reach for that phone just yet, because the lines won't be open until after all 12 finalists have sung. And there are two more still to come. Ladies and gentlemen, John McQuaker as Lou Graham. <laughs> Lou Graham and I want to know what love is. And now we all want to know who finalist number 11 is. Well, he was the winner of show 11 just two weeks ago, Stephen Rose, singing as Glenn Tilbrook. Stephen's job is a far cry from the glamorous world of rock and roll. Shovel driver Stephen Rose admits his job is dirty, but we didn't have to dig too deep to discover a true pop star below the surface. He's no stranger to being on the box. As a young lad in the 70s, you could just catch Stephen in the crowd during the titles for Match of the Day. Nowadays, he doesn't have much time for football. He's too busy working seven days a week, but he says it's all worthwhile to see his gorgeous wife Jennifer and baby Jacob at the end of the day. And that's Stephen before makeup and wardrobe have had their wicked way with him. He's doing his family proud tonight, singing live once again. Stephen Rose is Glenn Tilbrook. She unscrews the top of her new whiskey bottle. She shuffles about. Like some kind of witch with blue fingers and mittens She smells like the cat and the neighbors she sickens The black and white TV has long seen a picture The cross on the wall is a permanent fixture The post in the livers, the final reminders She sells out the silver and poodles in China Drinks to remember I, me, and myself he Winds up the clock and knocks dust from the shelf Home is a love that I'll miss very much So the past has been bottled and labeled with love During the wartime She moved to his prairie and married the Texan She learns from a distance how love was a lesson He became drinker and she became mother She knew that one day she'd be one or the other He ate himself old and drunk himself dizzy Proud of her features she Herself ready. Drinks to remember I, me, and myself. Winds up the clock and knocks dust from the shelf. Home is a love that I'll miss very much. So the past has been bottled and labeled with love. The past. Stephen. That's astonishingly accurate, you know. I just want to suggest something while we're talking about accuracy. Yeah. Since, uh, since the competition is about 
sound alike. Yeah. If, it's, if anybody's in any doubt, just close your eyes. And if you listen to that with your eyes closed, you would know that was Glenn Tilbrook to a T. Um, the real Glenn Tilbrook came in, didn't he? He did, yeah. He was in Granada, on uh, Granada tonight, the news programme. And he helped us out with the show? He did. Give, him, did. give him a photograph. Yeah? Yeah, took a snap of him. So that he, he did a Polaroid for us, just he so did. we get, get the look right, you see. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, are you still doing a seven-day week? I am, yeah, but I'm singing at work a lot now, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. Get your boss to give you a day off, will you? <laughs> ah, yeah. Don't miss your family. No, you are terrific. Thanks if you much. want to vote for Glenn Tilbrook, the number to ring is 0891 980011. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Rose as Glenn Tilbrook. <laughs> Glenn Tilbrook and Labelled with Love. And we continue the love theme in the song to be sung by our final finalist tonight. She's a familiar face because it was only a week ago that we last saw her. Sandra Robinson, who won as Anita Baker. Here's a reminder for those of you with short memories. South London's Sandra Robinson admits to being a bit shy at times, but certainly didn't hide her singing voice from us or indeed anyone else. Her travels with the choir have taken her far and wide. And since we first met Sandra, she swapped her choir book for an exercise book and gone back to college to study social science. But although the academic life may well be for her, she certainly doesn't need any singing lessons. And there's Sandra, the lady in red, before going through the doors. And fresh from last week's success, tonight's Singing Live once again, Sandra Robinson is Anita Baker.
Sandra. Yeah. I know you're a very shy person, but you are a terrific performer, you know. Thank you. It's sensational. Thank you. Now, but it's only been a week since your heat, so um, has that hindered or helped you coming here now? It's helped, you know. You think it's helped, yeah. having a short time, so you didn't have as much time not to worry to prepare, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. No, to worry, not, not prepare. Because you've nearly come to the end of your social science course, because I know you're changing to um, child protection, aren't you? That's yeah. what you're going to do. So, will your exams make your, you more nervous than this, or is this making you more nervous? I think things like this make you sort of more nervous. Mm, I, think, I think they probably <laughs> do, actually. <Yeah. laughs> I'd rather take an exam any day. And if you want to vote for Anita Baker, the number to call is 0891 980012. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Robinson as Anita Baker. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the 12. Every one of them fantastic, in my opinion. Their fate is no longer in their own hands. It's all up to you now, and I reckon you've got a really tough job too. But don't dash for the phones just yet. We're going to take a short break, and after that, we'll recap all the numbers, and only then will we open the phone lines. I'll see you very soon. Welcome back to Stars in Their Eyes Live Grand Final and the moment we've all been waiting for, the vote. From thousands of applicants through hundreds of auditions to 60 star guests. Now down to 12 finalists and culminating in one series winner to be chosen by you, the loyal viewer at home. Now when I open the vote, you'll have an hour in which to ring and make your choice. But for the next couple of minutes, have pens and paper at the ready while Andrew Britain reminds us of the 12 finalists and gives us the numbers to call. Good evening, Andrew. Good evening, Matthew. Yes, here are those numbers for finalist number one. Ring 0891 980001. Maria McKee is 20-year-old student Lynn Norton from Hertfordshire. Finalist number two is Robert Critchell. He's a meat porter and lorry driver from Watford who became Bobby V. And to vote for him, the number is 0891 980002. He was followed by Hampshire's Martin Dominique, the DIY enthusiast who became Mario Lanza. His number is 0891 980003. Part two opened with Peterborough amateur football coach Greg Lawrence. Tonight singing as Fat Domino. And to vote for him, ring 0891 980004. If you want to vote for Celine Dion, otherwise known as Edinburgh Bank Officer Kim Redpath, the number to ring is 0891 980005. Amanda White, the London chef to party, became Dinah Washington. And to vote for her, ring 0891-980006. From Skelmersdale in Lancashire, theatrical agent Paul McCoy's number is 0891-980007. If you want to vote for him, as Gilbert O'Sullivan. Paul Doody followed him, the gas fitter from Kent, as Marty Pello. 0891 980008 is the number to call for him. Part three rounded off with 20-year-old Dawn Joseph from the Channel Islands, who sang as Heather Small. And to vote for her, call 0891 980009. Part four opened with 21-year-old John McQuaker, a stock control assistant from North Allerton who became Lou Graham. And 0891-980010 is the number to call to vote for him. Our 11th finalist is Cheshire shovel driver Stephen Rose, singing as Glenn Tilbrook. And to vote for him, call 0891-980011. And we've just heard London mature student and mother of three, Sandra Robinson as Anita Baker. And if you want to give her your vote, the number is 0891 980012. And remember, calls won't cost more than 10 pence each. And with that, it's back to you, Matthew. Thank you very much, Andrew. Remember, you're voting for who sounds the most like the expert makeup and authentic 
costume design are fabulous, but they're not part of the contest. Now, there are the names and numbers again. We'll just take a quick look at that. Yes, there you are. Maria McKee, number one, 0891 For Bobby V, add 02. For Mario Lanza, add 03. For Fats Domino, add 04. For Celine Dion, 05. Dinah Washington, 06. Gilbert O'Sullivan, 07. Marty Pello, 08. Heather Small, 09. Lou Graham, 10. Glenn Tilbrook, add 11. And for Anita Baker, 0891-9800 and add 12. And you can also find all those numbers on Teletext page 653. Calls will cost you no more than 10 pence. Stand by. The vote starts now. And as I've said, you will have an hour to phone in. So please try and spread your calls. If you don't manage to get through first time, please try again. I'll return in an hour to announce the results. Oh, and I'll also be introducing our special guest, last year's winner, Bobby Darren, who this time last year was going through probably what our finalists are going through now, a very large bottle of champagne. So they've promised to save me a glass, which is why I'm going to join them now. They're probably about to go through the worst 60 minutes of their lives, so I know that you will wish them all well. And here they are, my chums. Hello, chums! Oh, oh joy, oh, rapture! Are you glad it's all over? Yes, but I'll do it again. You, would. <laughs> you might have to do it again, that's certainly true. Oh, God bless you, you see. Isn't that, isn't that like Dinah Washington? You're all so jolly. Has Bobby V been showing his pictures of dead meat again? <laughs> oh. Listen, if I catch... You, where, where is she? If I catch you and Lou Graham swapping hair pieces, you're going to be in big trouble, I'm telling you. All right, are we ready for this, chaps? Enjoy phoning and enjoy voting. We'll be back with you at 10.45. Good luck, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to the live grand final of Stars in Their Eyes, and that's the last time I'm saying that tonight because now the moment is upon us, the result. And over the past 60 minutes, there's been a lot of nervous tension in this studio. Everybody asking the same question. Have we got to lift that piano back again? <laughs> we've had, in the last hour, we've had more than a million calls. And uh, that is actually a record because it's the largest telephone vote uh, on television in the UK ever. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. If you wanted to make it a bigger margin, the lines are still open, so if you haven't yet voted, there's still a couple of minutes left to try. Now, the great thing about this show is the wonderful feeling of camaraderie that exists between everybody taking part. Of course, there can only be one winner tonight, and there's no doubt that whoever wins the biggest cheers will come from the remaining 11 finalists. And that's certainly how it was for last year's winner, Lee Griffiths. He scored... One yeah! hundred He was an immensely popular choice and a runaway winner. Please welcome back Lee Griffiths! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, yes. Well, I'm so happy. Yes, yes. Oh, well, you want to tell us what the feeling was like backstage at this time last year? I was cool, I was laid back. And if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> That's such a lie. How does it compare to this year? What are things like back there now? Things back there are very electric. Um, there's been 12 fantastic competitors, and they are very excited at the moment. So has it sort of been very relaxed for you this year? Think, oh, I've done it all, been there, done that? It's been a very, it's been a very hard year, really. Um, yes, this is the year. What is, what's the winner to look forward to? Um, I think 
the year is a lot harder than I ever imagined it would be. Yeah. I think you've got to put a lot of effort into it yourself. But um, at the same time, there's been a lot of joy in the last year as well. Are you making a, li a living as a singer now? Yeah, I am making a living, yeah. Well, I can't even got a CD coming out. I've got an album coming out in August. I signed a recording contract uh, two weeks ago. Well done. And is that um, famous song that you sang on it? Mac the Knife will be on the album. Splendid. Well, I don't think we can wait till August, so would you mind singing? I think we'd like to hear it again, wouldn't you? I think so. A star performance is what you get to the microphone and I'll introduce you. Thank you very much, Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, a class act with the classic song, Mac the Knife. Tonight, singing live once again, Lee Griffiths is Bobby Darren. <laughs> The shock, babe, I had such teeth, dear. And he shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has old Mac heat, babe. And he keeps it uh, out of sight. You know when that shock bites with its teeth, babe. Scarlet billows start to spread But fancy gloves, though, are where's all of that heat, babe So there's never, never a trace of red Now the sidewalk, ha, ha, ooh, sunny morning, ha, ha Lies about it, just losing life and someone sneaking round the corner Could that someone be Mac the Knife? There's a tugboat hot, hot, hot down by the river, don't you know? Where the seamen bag just drooping on down Oh, that cement is just, it's there for the waiting dead Bible get you ten whole Mackies back in town. Now you hear about Louie and Mella. He disappeared, babe. After drawing up all his hard earned cash. And now Mac he smells just like a sailor. Could it be a boy's done something right? Lucy Brown Yes, that lion falls On the right of me And out that Mackie Back in town Look at old Mackie's back This is Bobby Darren, the winner of the Stars in the Rise, 1995. <laughs> right, it's time. The vote for the Stars in the Rise winner, 1996, is now closed. And BT can relax now because they've done their bit. But for everybody else, this is the moment of truth. So let's not delay any longer than necessary. There are our 12 finalists, none of them entirely sure of their immediate future. They can do no more than to bravely wait and wonder. Well done to all of them, and thanks to all of you for taking the trouble to vote. Here we go, then. Here are the results of the 1996 final of Stars in Their Eyes. For finalist number one, Maria McKee. She scored a total of 81,500. Bobby V came next, and he scored... 60,141. Maria McKee is leading still. Mario Lanza was finalist number three, and he scored a total of 68,178, leaving Maria still in the lead. 
Fats Domino came next, and he scored a grand total of 156,963. This is a very promising lead for Fats Domino already. Let's see how Celine Dion did as finalist number five. She scored 122,500. Not quite enough to beat Fats Domino, but a fabulous score for Celine. Dinah Washington was finalist number six, and she scored 48,564. Never mind for Dinah. Let's see how Gilbert O'Sullivan did as finalist number seven. He scored 55,000. 300. This is still not good enough to beat Fats Domino. Let's see how Marty Pello did as finalist number eight. 178,212. This now puts Marty Pello in the lead. Let's see if Heather Small can beat him as ninth finalist. She scored 94,965. Good score, but not enough. Lou Graham was finalist number 10, and he scored 95,603. Marty Pello still in the lead. Glenn Tilbrook, though, was finalist number 11. He scored 118,358. A great score. Now then, can Anita Baker beat Marty Pello? She was finalist number 12, and she got 78,843. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Stars in Their Eyes 1996 is Marty Pello! Don't, don't do it. You'll start me <laughs> off. You'll start me. Your contacts will go. Your contacts are going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, sh shouldn't I shouldn't expect you to speak. I tell you what. Here you <laughs> are. Come on. I got these just in case, Thank you know, because you. you never know. Listen, what about your boss, Alan? Now he's going to give, you know, I have to give you more than <laughs> one day off, won't he? Now. He's is a great it, bloke. Is it? No, you're a great bloke. Can and, I just say, yeah. on behalf of everybody else, they are fantastic people back there. Twelve winners. Twelve winners. <laughs> hey, now, we've got to gather ourselves together now because you've got to sing it again. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> You'll manage it. You'll be fine because you're a star and that's why you're here. And from the thousands that applied to the hundreds that auditioned, the 60 who made it onto the series and the 12 finalists, I mean, how many people... God, 178,000 people voted for you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of 1996 Stars in Their Eyes final, Paul Doody <laughs> as Marty Pello. Standing in the pouring rain Oh, 
This stage has been witness to many emotional nights over the past few months, and none more so than this. It's been a truly memorable series, and the good news is we'll be back again in the new year. Congratulations to Paul once more, but from all of us here, good night. Fantastic finish to the 1996 series. Celebrations start right now for Paul Doody and the Stars in the Rise team. If you'd like the chance to take part next year, please call us on 0990 665544. From all of us here, good night. <laughs> <laughs>